So looking at this problem, we recognize that we have both compounding interest and payments. So TVM solver. So let's go through it. We're told that they're paying off a car loan of $2,000. So we can picture that loan as coming from the bank into our pocket for a plus 2000 here. Now the future value, well, we're making payments, we're paying this off. So we aim for a future value of zero. Now the periods, well, we're dealing with one year and we have 12 payments per year. So periods is 12. The interest rate we're told is 12%. The payment amount, that's what we're looking for, so we'll skip that. Payments per year is 12, and we're told that we have one compound per year. So, we're ready to calculate. We click the question mark, and we end up with negative 177.12. Now, the payments are coming out of our pocket and going to that loan we expect a negative. So that checks out right. So our payments would be $177.12.